Oh. Hey, 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 hey. There it is. All right, so y'all saw that, right? I went to flush, what did he do? He went to flush, okay? It's part of hunting wild birds. They get up, they go, things are exciting. Hey, 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 hey. Vibrate, good job. Okay guys, so this is, this is gonna be a fun one. Okay, so we did a video, and if you haven't watched this video, you need to go back and watch this video first. It is the prerequisites to take your dog hunting. What is the bare minimum things you need? And then we had a list of things that would be really freaking nice, okay? Now Thunder here is ready to roll. He went to this, he went into this first hunting season with the absolute bare minimums. Those are bird introduction, gunfire introduction, and collar condition to recall. That's it. I took him to South Dakota with me. He guided. Uh, we shot over 700 birds, all of the groups that I guided and everything, in South Dakota this year. Ton of birds, ton of exposure, ton of experience. Then he went on to hunt with a buddy of mine in Iowa, and he did all of these things with virtually no training, okay? And, and I love this guy to death. He has essentially what I like to refer to as an old soul. He's excited to go hunt here, but everything about him is just low key. He's just, he reminds me of an old dog and he's just over a year now, okay? So we're coming into this video and what we're gonna show you is the aftermath of a season of hunting wild birds and some pen raised birds, what that looks like. And then what we're gonna be able to evaluate is from here, what do we need to work on? Because there's a lot, folks. There are a lot of things. It's all of those really freaking nice things that he has none of them. But I wanna show you what he looks like and then we're going to handle that the best that we can. And then I'm gonna show you after that what we're able to work on going forward in the form of videos to update you on Thunder's progress. All right, let's hit the field. It's got, uh, we've got a little bit of overcast here, but it is warmer today than what we've had seasonably. So I do have a bottle of water with me. Um, we're gonna keep those ears wet. Oh, poor baby. Keep the top of his head wet. All right, bud, let's go. Oops, I'm gonna screw up my microphone here in this pocket. Water bottle, water bottle, go in the back. Oh, there's a pigeon in here. Did you hide this in here? All right, so thunder's off. Now, a couple of things that I'm gonna point out here. I can't woe him. I can call him back to me. We can kind of baby talk him. I mean, like any of our dogs through the beginning stages, I can say, whoop, whoop, okay. But I can't from there expect him to stand. He's not collar conditioned, so. Thunder. Super cooperative dog, he hunts in a reasonable distance. He checks in a fair amount. He does a nice job. And he's not a huge guy. He's got, um, you know, a, he's a little bit smaller stature, which is something I kind of like. He's about gonna be about the same size as Vex, full grown. We were just talking about this a little bit, that he's um, not gonna be a huge guy. Oh, oh, it's tick season, folks. I think I found two or three on me today. I am using, because everybody's interested in knowing a lot of times, I'm using DT Systems MR1100 today on him. His collar is simple, it's expandable to three dogs. It's got Nick Continuous and Vibrate on it. All the things you need with a three quarter mile range. All right, so Jess set birds out for us. Where are we headed? Back down this way? Okay. Give me a couple shotgun shells ready. Now, some of the things I want you guys to be watching for is his response, reaction, what he looks like when he locks up on point, how steady he is. These are all the things that we're evaluating coming out of the hunting season. Now I'm gonna, uh, small confession here. I've been trying to shoot this video since we picked him up 
which was the end of March. And this video right here, so I'm making sacrifices, okay? This video right here has put old Thunderbutt a little bit behind schedule because I wanted to show you the rawness of what he looked like coming out of the season. What do we got wind-wise? It's coming this way, so we got him out here. Where are we looking, miss? Okay, so I've wanted to show you. He's literally had no training sessions on birds. We haven't improved on anything since I picked him up the end of March. We do the cabin fever hunt with a buddy of mine, Mike, in Iowa, and uh, we took third place this year, I believe, which is... Eh, not as good as we like, but not horrible. And picked him up there, and it is now May, folks. And it's been weather, it's been things, it's been appointments, it's been this, that, or another thing, and we haven't been able to shoot this. So this is the true, straight off of the off-season rawness. Right in here. Okay. So... He's getting birdie there. We got a little bit of swirling wind. It's kind of dying off and then picking back up. It's right up in here. Okay. So we're gonna have to call him back around. So this is like his supernatural range. It's like perfect gun dog. Everything about this dog. And this is some of the things that we look for um, in our breeding program and from a breeding standpoint. All right, let's pay attention here. All right, bud. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, he says right there. Right there, boys. Ah, I can talk to him a little bit. I gotta get up here in gun range, kid. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, sir. Oh. Hey, 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 hey! There it is. All right, so y'all saw that, right? I went to flush, what did he do? He went to flush, okay? It's part of hunting wild birds. They get up, they go, things are exciting. Hey, 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 hey. Vibrate, good job. Brings that back, drops it at my feet, okay? Super easy, my hand was in there, kid. Super natural retrieve, not perfect, not polished, okay? But gets the job done. You can see here why this dog, he held till we're in gun range, he helped. Where's my water bottle? Now, this is something I want to show you here good he held till we were within gun range and when I started kicking through the grass you know it sounds it's exciting those are the things that we can typically help dogs to work through with formal collar conditioning to woe which he does not have yet so a little in his mouth on the top of his head good boy good keep him cool so bird number one didn't look too bad not perfect, but didn't look too bad. Let's go see if we can find another one. Are we back up here? Okay. But I was talking about him. You know, these are, I mean, you're looking at an essentially completely natural bird dog. And that's one of the things that we look for out of our breeding stock, upcoming breeding stock, is the ability to make life easy for y'all. You get a dog from us, they should be able to do a lot of it on their own or with some pretty minor amounts of additional conditioning or exposure. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. All right. See that pick that head up? That's a natural thing. That's like a, that's a vex characteristic. The longer he stands, the higher that head starts crawling up there. Can I smell it? Stud muffin. Whoa, sir. See, me saying whoa means like it's it, pretending it's actually meaning something. I have no way to reinforce. There it is, there it is, there it is. Ho! Oh! Nailed it. a boy! Straight out to it. Straight back to me. What a good dog, right here. A little circle of parading. Just check out. No, 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 fetch it up. He's running away, kid. Okay. This is a, a prime example. All right, right in here. Come on, fetch it up. Dead bird. You dropped it, but it's, come on. Right here. Fetch it up. Where'd it go? 
to give him a tracking opportunity. He dropped the bird, it ran up here, it circled back into the grass, he's looking for it. It's, tech, it's right here in front of me, but he hasn't been on the downwind side of it. Right here, it's a dead bird, okay? So why is a retrieve to hand important? Here. Good, we're gonna grab that, snatch it out of his mouth, hold on to him a second, okay? Why is a retrieve to hand important? Because it prevents stuff like that. If you've got a crippled bird and he drops that, it can disappear. It's hard to keep up with them. They run fast, especially pheasants, which we hunted a lot of. All right, let's go. Bird number two, not too bad, but still you can see the things that he really needs to work on are gonna be woe training, that's gonna allow us to help him to stand a little steadier. Yeah, those are metal arcs, get on. Move along, son. He's gonna need formal retrieving work. That's gonna allow him to, to polish up that retrieve, retrieve to hand. We're gonna need, what else are we gonna need? Um, you're not getting to see it today, but he does have good experience hunting with other dogs, so from a backing standpoint, but we can, Oh, we got a delivery truck coming. Good God today, guys. All right. He's going to end up hitting this, and we're going to have to ask him to stand. Are we in this area here? Yeah, he's not hitting it from like a half county mile or something. See if we can sneak in on this one. Whoop. Whoop. Whoa, sir. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, quit. There it is. Boo, got you. I got you good, buddy. All right, let's finish this one out. We got an idea of what he's gonna do. He's gonna come back and he's gonna drop it here. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, okay. Here, good, that's a good boy. Hold on to it, there you go. Hold on to it, there you go, good. A little encouragement can go a long way, nice. All right, we're gonna tuck that one out of the way. Okay, folks, so you got to see it, right? He's got all of the things that are required. No problem with birds, no problem with guns. He learned how to point and handle birds with no previous experience before going and hunting on wild birds. And he did a good job learning how to handle all of those things. He is not finished and polished and we're gonna have a few things that we can work on. Well training, hopefully we'll be able to show you that. It's formal retrieving work. It's too many videos and sessions and things. We've got a whole series if you haven't seen already with Legend. Check that out in the playlist section. You can watch step-by-step step how to get a dog from not retrieving to hand to retrieving to hand. And then uh, aside from that, I think we're gonna come through this. We're gonna be able to work a little bit on tracking just from an experience standpoint. He's gonna go run his natural ability test. And then uh, we're gonna be back about into September ready to go hunting again. So he's uh, got all of those things without the things that are really freaking nice. And you can see where some of those nice things that we talk about could be beneficial. But all in all, he's a super fun little pup. I'm really excited to see him continue to mature through this next season. And I'm excited to be able to show that with y'all. Thanks for watching. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Thunder. And we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.